a wonderful documentary that was put together during the pandemic called Last Comiskey. And it was, um, it's only on YouTube and it was put together. I, now, I don't know the full history. Dick, he's just a fan, right? He's just a white side yeah, fan. It sounds like a couple of brothers. That, I'm not sure that they were film producers before this, that they may have had some experience in it, but they're about our age. I think they're in their late 40s, early 50s. Uh, got bored during the pandemic. Yeah. And decided to put together a documentary about the last season of the old Comiskey Park where they were able to ar get archived footage. Um, they did a lot of Zoom interviews at the time and yeah. put together a really fucking cool YouTube documentary, actually. I mean, I was... I got a little choked up on the, you know, on the last episode. And um, it's funny, they had the no-hitter game I was at that we just talked about a few podcasts ago. Yeah. The, the White Sox winner, no hitter um, <laughs> against the Yankees. And, but like there were the first episode, I, I was like, okay, this is decent, but there wasn't anything like um, overly compelling in the first one. I thought it was like kind of stuff I knew, but when I, I thought two, and I know you haven't seen three yet, got really interesting yeah. and two, especially the the vendors perspective yeah a segment was was nothing short of like just as a white Sox fan just brilliant that's and, what was so cool about this documentary it's not just about the white Sox 1990 season it's about the 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 history and life you know the life of what comiskey park used to be and I, right. I thought the color of that the, like filling in all the little stories here, there, all the, the having the vendors being involved. That was so cool. You know, Nancy Faust is a large part of this. The, yeah. the organist playing with inside the crowd, by the way, I've got a couple hot takes about Nancy Faust. That might be controversial. Ooh. All right. Watching again. I've only seen episodes one and two of this. I need to I need, I'll definitely watch the third and final last Comiskey this weekend, but Nancy Faust, number one, she was kind of hot back in the day. She was the the thin blonde in the in the eighties and nineties. Yeah, she was she wasn't bad looking. The other hot take is she's kind of an asshole. She's the <laughs> one that created the "Na Na Hey Hey Goodbye" song to awesome. escort to escort uh, failing relievers for the opposition off the field in a very taunting and assholeish way. So. I no, I, I was kind of surprised that she was she's kind of an asshole, which is, is great. <laughs> Such a sweet lady, but an yeah. ass. You think she's a sweet lady. <laughs> <It'll> cut you. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of my takeaways from this. Uh another was I, you know, of course I never went to old Comiskey. I didn't move to Chicago until nine years, seven years after it closed, actually, but so my first experience with the White Sox was going to the new Comiskey, which at that time was like the fucking Death Star. It was the most depressing, <laughs> blue, yeah, blue, 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 concrete, blue and, uh, freaking ugly, terrifying upper deck uh, that I've <laughs> ever been to. Um, but seeing the footage, I do remember this as a kid watching games. The old Comiskey is a lot like Tiger Stadium. They were oh, yeah. they were that I grew up going to and watching games at. Um, they were built within two years of each other. I think uh, 1910 and 1912. Tiger Stadium didn't close till 1999, so they had about the same lifespan. But if you look at them, they're the same kind of jewel box design uh, with the upper deck going most of the way around through the outfield. The upper deck in the outfield, like I know in Tiger Stadium, it actually hung over the outfield. I'm not sure if it actually did. It lo almost looked like it for Comiskey, but very similar design so if similar similar in a lot of ways the, the, i do remember the one thing as a kid of course now i've become my career has gone into graphic design so i noticed stupid shit like this but comiskey was always green you know all the seats and walls and everything were green but all the railings were painted yellow yeah they had that yeah, they had that bright yellow i never understood that like what because it didn't have anything to do with your color scheme or anything like that so i didn't I didn't understand, like, why is this, why are there these yellow railings? But that's just something that I just always remember as a kid. Like, oh, you could instantly know, flip on a game. I actually couldn't just flip on a game back then. But if I did see 
something i knew immediately that it was old comiskey just because of those yellow railings but yeah i wonder if it, I'm, I'm assuming it was for safety reasons like just so gotta they be really able to see the out. railings yes yeah. Yeah, they know how drunk people got there. So well, that, their... that's another part of the of this documentary <laughs> that they do not shy away from how drunk that place was. And how yeah, it just it just sounds like a, a fucking party. Not not a place to bring a child to necessarily. But... And I went there a lot <laughs> as a child. That speaks as how you've turned out. But <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it. I, I I'm actually gonna watch uh i i think i will view it again you know maybe maybe not like one two and three i'm definitely gonna watch two again because yeah having the beer the whole beer vendors thing and then uh now i don't want to give anything away but was, was <laughs> is this is that they actually did the... close the stadium and you did not win the world series that <laughs> no, year. no no i i'm sorry gonna, to spoil it for i'm not gonna give anything away to you uh is that the same oh. episode where they actually did the critiquing about moving the walls in. Is no, I don't think up? so. Okay. So that's going to be something that's interesting in episode okay. three. So, um, well, yeah, I actually heard they were, Chuck was interviewing the director today on the newest White Sox talk podcast. So I heard, I heard him talk about that a little bit, but of yeah. course I forgot the guy's name. We never mentioned their name. I'll, I'll put it in the notes or in when we put the video in at least cool. I'll, I'll give proper accreditation to the film, but I'm wondering what, what, it's such a cool documentary. They just put it on YouTube. Like how are they just getting ad revenue from YouTube? It seems like. I mean, I got, I got a commercial like every freaking three minutes. So yeah, it's pretty well done. You'd think they could have sold it to somebody, you know, major league baseball or the white Sox or somebody make some real coin off it. So I hope, I hope they're doing well enough to keep doing these things. They're talking about, they've gotten such a huge response from this that people are sending old photographs and, other stories and stuff that they right. might might do a fourth episode you know, oh wow like extra innings you know kind of like how ken burns did yeah uh with the baseball documentary but they're also talking about just doing something completely different with the old chicago stadium for the the blackhawks and bulls doing the same same kind of uh, uh walk through walk through the history of that so that yeah. might be their next project that they might actually equally as drunk <laughs> yeah yeah they started telling some stories about that too so yeah. I never saw the old Chicago stadium either, but that place was fucking loud, man. It sounded crazy. Holy shit. Like deafening, like hmm. hurt your ears when the crowd would go crazy. Nice. It was pretty cool. Um, you know, I, one thing as, as I watched that Smitty, uh, I don't know if you, this popped into your head, but it kind of gave me hope for our grand idea of doing the documentary on the worst season in White Sox history, the, the most dysfunctional season in White, White Sox 2016? history. 2016. Like, yeah. like, it really did. Like, the way they did it, I'm like, if you could get – now, ours would be more difficult to get people to participate in because we're definitely talking about something super negative versus <laughs> paying yeah. homage and, and – yeah. and, and reminiscing about all the great times at this ballpark. We're literally talking about this season was so unbelievably dysfunctional. You can't even believe it actually happened. Yeah, I'm not sure how much support we'll get for this. I don't know. Uh, I want to, I'd still love to try to do it. <laughs> I like the idea, especially in the shadow of the, the Cubs golden generation and finally winning a world series after 108 years. It couldn't well, have been more yeah. perfectly juxtaposed. Yeah, I mean, you can even at like one point, like every now and then, you'd be like, meanwhile, on the other side of the city. Fortunately, we have this all documented, our thoughts on our blog at Major League A-Holes and actually at SoxTypeThing.com. Yes. Uh, they both they all exist for eternity as long as WordPress doesn't go under and lose all our files. But uh, yeah, we were writing blogs back then about everything that was happening, and it was an easy time to be a baseball blogger in the city of Chicago. Oh God! Talking about yeah. everything that was happening on both sides of town. So yeah, maybe maybe that should be our goal. Twenty twenty six, a ten year retrospective on uh, the twenty twenty sixteen or twenty sixteen season uh, from both sides of town's perspective. I'll, I'll start hitting the archival footage now. <laughs> We've got three years <laughs> to figure this out. Hey, those guys just got bored and made a documentary. Why can't we do it? I know we'll, we'll figure it out. We got to get Rick Hahn. I got We got to get him <laughs> as like what he said. We got him going to repeat what he said on that other podcast. We're going to have to kidnap like, him. And like... yeah, where, where, where he was just like, 
he did what? <laughs> <laughs> Somehow I don't think we're going to get any answers to any of that shit, but my uh, God, I can dare only, to dream, only dare imagine. To dream. Maybe we'll make up our own dramatic reenactments. <laughs> oh, that would now that would be even funnier. <laughs> Artistic license. And <laughs> uh, yes. Um, but yeah, so, any, so anyway, in closing, White Sox fans, actually probably like if you, I kind of feel like if you're a baseball fan, you could take enjoyment. If you love the history of baseball, it's it's really it, it, it all three episodes in and out are probably like maybe ninety minutes total. Yeah, I, I don't think. think they're I don't think they're super long. They're on YouTube. The whole world has access to YouTube. You don't have yeah. to subscribe to Prime or Netflix or anything like that. So it's yeah, out so there. Check it out. It's, if, it's, it's, if you call yourself a White Sox fan, you should probably watch this thing. Yeah, if, if you are a White Sox fan and haven't watched it yet then I'm saying you're not a White Sox. Maybe there are assholes of the week. Yeah, maybe. If you have not watched Get Jose it, off the hook. fucking asshole. <laughs> Wordhole Media.